Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate everybody who's sent kind messages. I have about 2,000 line messages to get through. Lord knows what Evazone is and Twitter DMs and emails and all this. But I have been on... It, I'm doing work every day, but it's a kind of vacation in the sense that I'm going to my hometown community and I'm trying to breathe as much life into it as possible. And I am away from all the things I normally am attached to, from my computer to my email to the game itself. It is very different. I'm probably not going to get for the first time ever, and we have a level up event coming soon, but the hero use... I finished with 1,500, and when it comes to rank rewards, I think I'm still going to be out of luck, but uh, let's see if we scroll all the way down. I've never missed the top 10%, but I'm probably going to because of my schedule, unless somehow I was able to, well, we'll see. Um... Anyhow, there's also a double track event that's here, the new double track event, which we need to talk about because, you know, the goal is to obviously have a great value. And right now, seven star shards are a valiant addition. 750 instead of 500, same six star hero crystal, but look at the difference in tier six basic. In tier 3 alpha. What's interesting is I'd rather have a 50% selector than 100% crystal. So that's kind of disappointing. You've got the exalted crystal shards. You've got the third rate booster pack. And the exalted crystal shards very close. The third rate booster pack gives you a piece of the super fabulous one. And then when you start scrolling to the right... I mean, it's super awesome that we have these collector crystals because these are kind of fun, but, you know, they're more for literal collectors. When you look at the actual offers as the double track gets better, just as is the case with any double track event, um, you tend to have hope that in these special treasure chest days you get more value, but in this case, it's stuff like profile picks, energy refills, boosts, units, bonus units. And then the, the question is, all right, I get through the whole double track event. Uh, level one revives. I wish they had more of these, but that's a good addition. But let's look at this. Day 27. So for free, you get 757 star shards as a valiant player. You get the profile pick. You get the, the KS Conqueror. But this is really crazy. An Abyss Nexus Crystal Selector over a 6 turns. I think the Abyss Nexus Crystal Selectors were usually worth at least 10 bucks by itself. The 2007 Star Shards, especially compared to the trash offers we've seen lately for them, is nice. You get the Ultra Super Card, Capture Crystal, a, a decent amount of Exalted Crystal Shards, a fully formed Tier 6 Basic, a fully formed Tier 3 Alpha, 25% Tier 6 Class Catalyst Selector for some people. The Abyss Nexus, though, the greatest double track value we have ever seen is this spotlight. For 10 bucks, just this. If, if they just had an offer today... Hey, you get Abyss Nexus Crystal Selector and 2007 Star Shards. I think a lot of people jump on that. But this is so much more than that. This is every day for the paid day plus the gold. So I think this is an A++ for Valiant players, especially. Paragon, at least an A-. minus. But the Valiant players are just like, like stealing candy from a baby. Just like when you have videos that are less than five minutes that you can hopefully end soon. So thank you for watching, YouTube. I'm going to end this here. And uh, I appreciate all the support for the channel today.